when the 42-day lockdown was eased on the 31st July, private and public transport and businesses were allowed to resume operating. However, restrictions on public gatherings remained. The president said places of worship would remain closed for another two months. The clergy have requested the government to reopen places of worship, arguing that COVID-19 prevention guidelines have been and will be observed to the later. In a closed-door online meeting between the Presidential Advisor on Epidemics and Pandemics, Dr. Monika Msenero, and the Interreligious Council of Uganda in Mengo, Kampala, the clergy have been warned to go slow with their request. We need people to come and worship uh, after the explanation it has been made clear that we, we need to wait as they continue to monitor and observe the situation. Dr. Msenero's words may indicate that even after the 60 days, the places of worship could remain under lock and key. Media evangelists continue to help our people. Let us worship at home. For the weddings, 20 people are still allowed. Dr. Msenero gave assurance that government will consider them in its relief program for those affected by the lockdown. I don't know whether the Minister of Gender has contacted the Interreligious Council to see how these people can also find support. Because if you don't have congregations, uh, there is no income to support people who are earning their livelihood through this. The religious leaders fear that people will lose their faith in God and abandon places of worship even after they are reopened. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.